Well, it looks like they hopped right in. Oh gosh. All right, so we got Gengar versus Libre. Let me see if uh, SK Dale is willing to hop on the mic with me here. Uh, yes, they right. just started. Yeah, uh, I'm just jumping in here for counter. Oh, very nice combo there. Mello keeping on the pressure. Yeah. That's one thing that Gengar has a hard time dealing with, um, or at least Sir Spud, uh, is just pressure. Yeah. Because Sir Spud is very good at just avoiding pressure with his iframes. He really loves to abuse them. Good dodge right. over that charged Shadow Ball. Yeah. That combo looks so cool, but it just scales so hard. <laughs> it does. I mean, I'm glad it doesn't do more because, you know, it's against me, but I feel like it should do more than that. Alright, anyways. Ooh, very Ooh, nice. Quick grab. grab there. Uh, is that gonna... No, it got the shield out. Oh, very risky there. Uh, that counterattack pulled off, though. Yeah. So, so Sir Spud is still lacking on his synergy gauge. He usually has a little bit more than this. He <laughs> definitely wants more. Oof. But Jirashi can help him out with that a little bit. Okay, so Sir Spud escaping the pressure there. Ooh, we'll get punished for that This crap. is just a lot of trade offs. Yeah, a lot. Nice to watch him out there. Got the attack debuff. That's really important. Drops the combo. Ooh. Ah. Dang. Luckily got faced in the right way there. Punishes grab attempt. If it comes rush, it's gonna be enough for gauge, and it's gonna burst it. Now, even though he's at a deficit right now. Oh! Oh, is this gonna work? No, it's not. Beats out the counter attack with the spin dash. A lot of pressure there. Oh my goodness. And here comes a combo. Bacon again. Toad kiss buff there. But Megan is fast enough to catch up to that. Throws out the burst stack, because why not? Burst. Will and connect! It wow. Oof. That was a very raw burst. There's one that's not usually throw those off. He only does it really for a hypnosis combo. And I mean, since you can normally get landings pretty easily, or grabs on landings pretty easily, that mm -hmm. definitely makes sense on why he activated yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. And also he just had so little on his burst, just might as well use it. Yeah. And it worked out very well for Sir Spud's favor. Sludge Bottom won't get the debuff off, at least. Yep. It's good to get that early on. He's hitting with a sludge bomb there. He's getting a lot of mileage out. Oh yeah. Here. I've noticed his sludge bomb usage uh, increase vastly as of late. Especially against characters uh, that can put a lot of pressure on Gengar. Mm -hmm. I mean, the attack debuff is just good overall, no matter who you're fighting. Yeah, but especially today, just against a lot of characters that can just go in on Gengar, he's been using it a lot. Mm -hmm. Definitely won't get it. But Electro Web is Electro Web and will do a lot of damage there. And I think. Oh, oh, jumped just in time. It looked like that was going to hit. Here comes the wall combo. That, oh, Exhaust Rains will mess up the combo a little bit. And okay, so here comes the combo from Sir Spud. We'll get boosted with Rage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that Rage coming through. Yeah, normally that combo gets really, really uh, stale there. No, oh, no, he dropped his block. Oh, no. God, oh that cost the him the game. There. All right, Melo taking the first game there. Yep. It is a best of five, correct? Yes. Right here, this winter finals. So, uh, looks like 
looks like someone is switching it. Okay, so it looks like Sir Spud is switching his point there. It could be important. Without probably winning more towards using Cresselia more than Reshiram. Just to be able to heal up because and also get rid of the debuffs too, because that speed debuff will be very important. Just so you can catch up to Libre. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. Yep, like I said, he's gonna go for Cresselia there. Pressure Man doesn't really have a lot of usage with Gengar, so that he can get the attack debuff on his own. Ooh, good nice punish. catch there. Tries to get him in there. And will catch Mellow in them. Very Oof, good the damage. There. Very improv. Catch that was a nice delay. The fact that he delayed the Astonish just in time to actually catch a vulnerable was good. Yeah, that was really good. And, and especially with attacks like, with like really constant hitbox like that, really good on getting vulnerable frames there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he did time it just enough to be able to get it. Ooh, good grab, punish. Yep. Alright, so, looks like... Alright, Melo's now putting on a lot of pressure against Sir Spud. Ah, uh, drops the combo a little bit there. Sir Spud able to get out and be on the other side of the wall. Face shift, though. Ooh! Sir Spud still does... Uh, no, uh, sorry. Melo still has the attack debuff. It's very good for Sir Spud. He'd be in a much worse position if he didn't have it. Timer's getting pretty low here. Yeah, he gonna get hit. That was a risky Cresselia. Very risky. Yep, but he's gonna get hit hard for that. More importantly, though, he's got that Mega Gengar. Yes, he does. Now, the thing is, the timer is... Uh-oh. That, that's no, I can't up. cancel out of it in time. Yep, I think he actually started throwing out the, the Did attack. Did he? Okay. So I don't think he could have shielded it at that point. Yeah, let's say, I don't think he should have used, and if he didn't get hit by that, I, I felt like he shouldn't have used the Mega Gengar, because it was only 8 seconds left in the match. That's true, that's true. Would have been a waste of synergy that he has to build up for in the first place. Yeah. In general, I don't Ooh. think with a character that takes as long to build up synergy to use it during the first match. Mm -hmm. And he's going to use it pretty early in the second, though. Well, it's Ooh. definitely to get a, oh, got that pressure off. off. Yep, mm, this is going to be good damage. Very good damage, yeah. Gets it early in the burst, just so, or the synergy that is, so you can still benefit from the attack and defense increase for the rest of the round that it, it lasts. Taking down a lot of health there, half exact, pretty much. But now it doesn't look like he's playing too scared of it. Still throwing out attacks. Use the invincibility frames from the synergy burst there to get out of the laser. Sir Spud's playing it a little bit risky uh -oh. there. He just kept throwing out attacks. Ooh, and those... that'll catch him. Yeah, it will. Yeah, Sir Spud, he definitely does go very offensive when he gets a Mega Ocean, which, um, with Skin Guard, that, it, that does work, but it you can pretty much shield a lot. If he, if he does a Hypnosis, then he just keeps attacking. Mm -hmm. And Mel was um, getting onto that, and he was able to safely get by. Farfetch put on a lot of pressure. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be a good combo, especially with the red boost. Ooh! Ooh. Lands the shadow punch, and that will be a combo. Can he close it out? Oh! It one. one HP. Very surprised he landed that shadow punch. No! Oh. Catches the quick, uh, the double team there. Clutch. Very good play by Sir Spud. Definitely showing he's not out of it. Especially since the game, uh, best of five is gonna be very close. Lands the charge X, I believe, on that. Alright, so. The good punch on the grab there. Oh, the electro web. Yeah, freaking electro web. The hitboxes on that are jankity. <laughs> Just the fact that it comes out so quickly and it can catch in the air. Mm hmm. Like. Like, other characters have, like, aerial grabs. Dish. They either don't come out that quickly, or they need a charge to hit in the air. Well, Libre is just both. They need a charge or anything. Ooh, got a lot of damage off right there. Ooh. Lands the Shadow Punch there. I think Melo thought he was out of range, but... Counter 
was fully that. charged. Uh, does not capitalize on it though, he was setting up the sludge bomb. Goes into Sandy Burst there. Good oh, crit, oh my gosh. Yes, it will. That grabbed us so much damage. And Here comes okay, the giant so fist. Blood taking game two of winner's finals. Oh. I wonder if this is going to be go all the way to game five with both of them. It could. These are two really solid players. Yeah. Melo, definitely very good Pikachu Libre. And Sir Blood, definitely really good Gengar. It's just the two very like polar opposite play styles definitely with like the two characters so it's really kind of cool to see them play off of each other like that <laughs> also really good to see uh Mello come out to one of our weeklies today. yeah it was really spur of the moment uh he was talking in our midwest midwest discord channel and uh he's like man i'm debating about coming out to the weekly and it's like I was looking at the clock and it's like five o'clock and it's like, well, if you're gonna do it, you gotta go now. Yeah, like, uh, he was in Kansas City, right? Uh, yeah, Kansas yeah. City, Missouri. So it's good. like three hours from us. Yeah, really and it's just like, um, of course, we don't expect to come out every week. That oh gosh, be, no. That'd be ridiculous. But good to see him come out every now and then. It's yeah, just it was, he missed the monthly because he he, he did miss the monthly, months. unfortunately. Yes. He oh, wanted to get his yeah, he wanted to get his run back with Fiora, but it'll have to wait for guard break in January. Speaking of which. <laughs> Our January monthly will be on the 21st. Um, if you're in or around Omaha, uh, Nebraska, definitely come on out for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It, our monthly's here. We, we usually get a pretty good turnout. Um, a lot of really good players around here. Mm -hmm. like, really solid skill level around the area. Really nice to come out and see. All right, so now we're going into game three. Ooh, got him. Yeah, this ran right up to him. I to get the grab a little early there. Yeah, I think he just a little bit early. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he has something going there, but I don't think he's expecting to actually hit that. He just, he just wanted to dip into the hot tub real quick. It <laughs> uh, does get the 21 hit combo, though. Oh, Ooh, okay, very nice and dodge. Safe. It's pretty for the grab, though. Yeah. Ooh, uh. well, a little bit early for that. Libre's counterattack does cover a lot of distance. Alright. So Mel going into the city first now. Got a wild charge off. He's gonna get a nice combo off that into the electro web. Getting the speed beam off now. That is so much damage, Jesus. Uh, now he's got the Jirachi boost now. He's definitely very threatening right now. That is, yeah, that's gonna be a little very hard to just... Oh, I think that's gonna hit... No, Ooh, gotcha, okay, though. we'll get blocked. So hard to watch Gengar match uh, matches sometimes because he just like zips all across and just the right. does not know what to do. Hard to follow. <laughs> Dang, he kind of made that landing a little uh, poor. Yeah, that combo got scaled pretty hard, but because of the wall bounce, he will still get to one health. Mel doesn't even need to do anything. He's just got to time it out for five seconds, but oh, he's still... Oh, knows the time, yeah. Yeah, Oof, I don't, I don't right. think there's any way Gengar could get any move. Nah, I don't think there's any way for him to turn that around, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, Mel taking the lead so far, but Sir Spud does have a burst getting pretty close. Uh, yeah, Good tick throw. Will be important. He does have Cresselia, though. He can get rid of that speed de debuff whenever he needs to. If Mel will ever give him an opportunity, he's getting very... Very offensive. Wow, damn from that. Alright, so here comes the Cresselia, getting rid of that speed deal, but it's not really getting a lot of health back, and here comes the burst. Well, guess guess the Gengar laser there. And now Mel will go into his burst and get the Jirachi off. Ooh. Give him a little bit more defense, take the hits a little bit better. Going for a lot of lasers, but Melo just jumping right over them and punching. And with that, uh -oh. next, it uh -oh. will. Oh, uh, Is that gonna scale? I mean, he's in Jirachi. Even if it does scale, it'll, it it'll probably kill. Oh, okay. I got yeah, scaled. I, I, I guess it, it was both scaling answers, but still in his city burst. Oh, we tried to uh, read him coming in. Yeah, not quite. We'll still get a very good hit off there. He still has a little bit burst left. Got one last laser before he goes out. Oh, 
Ooh, very nice tornado. Shadow Ball out, keep the keep out a little bit of pressure. Mel <laughs> CAD seeing those uh shadow punches, I don't want to take even the little bit of chip health. He's, just, he's calling it out just because they're not fully charged. Yeah. If they were fully charged, that would be piercing his counter attack, but because they're not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I guess he really didn't want to take that chip damage because of the... Oh, we'll get the Jirachi buff. Oh. Yo! Oh, he did it! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, who, uh, <laughs> that was so close. Oh, Sir Spud took that. That was so close. Yeah, Melo got the Jirachi boost in there just to get a little bit more health back. I thought that was going to be it, but... Well, Jirachi doesn't heal any. Oh, uh, it? No, it just does synergy stuff. Oh, okay. I thought it heals for some reason. No, I thought it did too, but it, it's all synergy. Mm. Oh, wait. That looked, that looked like a lot of damage coming out from Gengar there. A lot more than I'm used to seeing, at least. Ooh, very Good nice grab, grab. There. Wasn't a crit, so it was pretty raw there, there. Ooh, nice. Try oh, to get a Scooby. That is not going to connect. Just a little bit of shield damage. Nice punish there from Sir Spud. Ooh, again, waits out the Astonish there just to get the vulnerable frames. Ooh, catches that CADC there. Nice, wow. nice countering through that with the Sludge Bomb. Sir Spud definitely putting it in on this round. He's got a download. Mello is having a hard time getting in. That was could have been it right there. At one health now, just one more hit off the shield. Ooh, that one drops the shield last Sir second. Spud taking game three. Looking like he might bring, get on top of this. Very impressive. This, this is very, very interesting here. Ooh, there we go. Sitting on game point now. Mel's going to have to win two in a row to get out of winner's finals. Not he'll be sent to losers. guys hear that in the background, uh, Smash is, they're having fun. <laughs> Alright, oh, very good hits there. Combos, oh goodness. Alright, oh, lots of, lots of damage in there. Uh-oh. Oh, here comes the has got him right where he wants him. Oh, okay, so, search what able to get out of there. Very good damage there. I got the shield break. Oh, uh, almost got the combo. The Astonish was just a little bit out. Oh, Mel got a nice crit counter attack there. Expecting a pop with Cresselia pretty soon just to get a little bit of health Ooh. back. Oh, Mel is putting out a lot of pressure and he will go into his burst now. <laughs> Good quick low stance, like a yeah. <laughs> Gotta throw that in there for a second. That dip. will connect, and I think that's going to kill. With the oh, he does have an attack debuff. I think. Mm. Yeah. 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 Kill. He's also in red, I guess. Yeah. So. All right. So. So we got some double teams there. I don't think he's been doing that. At least I've noticed about this round, this matchup, I guess. Mm, at least Clank in the air. Yeah. I get some anime Clank. Oh my gosh. The the number of vulnerables that uh, Sir Spud's catching Mello in here is pretty impressive. Yeah, he's got the timing down on the counter attacks. Oh, nice there. Oops, it. Oh, it drops the combo there. Uh, but uh, Melo does counter through the tornado. He shields the curse, punching it against the wall there. Okay. I've been noticing, uh, Sir Spud's now not going for many electro webs or grabs in general. Yeah. Ooh, gets a headbutt in. And now here comes the burst from Gengar. Okay. Tries to fake it out. Oh, okay. he dropped Wait, shield! Okay. okay, that was a... Oh no! That was a pretty, uh... Pretty interesting uh, mind game right there. Canceling the double team there. That will do a lot of damage. Even after the attack debuff, which now is gone because it got the attack increase. Ooh. So fast. Ooh. 
Oh, good double team. Yeah, she went to all of it. Yeah, it's definitely, he seems like he's, he's now substituting Electro Web for double team now. He's using it a lot. Uh oh, uh oh. Throws out the burst. And he did Yolo jump. effort. So. Oh, oh not, not able to catch that one. Vulnerable frames there. And we're going to game five. Now. Game five, huh? See, here, here in Nebraska, we only go to game five. I don't we remember. Always. I, don't, I think go the to only time five. it wasn't was like last week with like me and, uh, you me and, and Sorry Tag. Yeah. That winner spot. That was the only time I didn't go to game five. But then Grand Finals went to game five, so yeah. <laughs> we made up for it. We only do game five here. Now, game five, match point for both players. Ah, Mel catching uh, the counterattack frames there. Ooh, a nice quick grab from Sir Spud there. A little bit of health back and some speed too. Charge X, I believe. I may be wrong about that, but it's Charge X. Catches the vulnerable frames on the counterattack there. I am very safe. Counterattack does not come off it though. It's a little headbutt there. Very, very intense stuff right now. Oh, oh dear Ward, what is going on? <laughs> Camera, why? Buttons. <laughs> Guys, let's stay out of the air during field phase, please. Guess uh, Jiraji Boost now very uh, threatening. Ooh, ooh interesting. They have the curse damage off. I think those are considered weak attacks, so. Uh, I think they are, yeah. Oh my god, the damage on that. Oh, Jesus. And that does so much. That did about 180, I believe. And now gets the burst, instant pressure. But no, actually does not seem to take a lot of pressure from Mega Gengar. He's very... Oh no, oh. the counter frames! Wow, just countered through all of it. And that will be very bad for Sir Spud because he uses the burst and did not get anything out of it and now has to work all the way back up to get it. Yeah, it'll be hard to say if he gets hit in this round or not. Although, Melo does have no burst gauge at all either, but the Elite Ray is much easier to get it back. Punishes the grab attempt. First Blood's definitely... Ooh. Ooh! Very nice grab there. Right at the end of the sidestep there. Oh my gosh. Headbutt. That, that hit. Alright. Oh, oh my spotted. gosh. Mello is... Ball combos. <laughs> and there's the Man. left. There it is. Those combos are crazy. Catches him though. Oh, and here comes Surge with his own combo. Drops it though. Chunk Yo, damage. he might actually get synergy here soon. Yeah, it, he's getting pretty close. I bet if he causes a um, base shift, won't he get. I think he might get enough. Uh, well, uh, there's that. No. Getting pretty Gengar's close. Meter. Though. More attacks. If he can. Oh, there it is. Dude, right there. all right. Oh, and he uses it. Okay. Definitely wants to make sure that this round. Oh game, gosh. Goes to game three. Just out. Might be able to just. Oh, Ooh, gets him right got him. there with the aerial spin dash. Game five, final game round. Game. Let's go. This is the only way we do it, guys. <laughs> Gotta make these last guys as long as possible. Good shadow ball. Yeah, very good. Catching the double team. Counter attack there from Mello. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, head those headbutts. Really good timing that headbutt, just to make sure it hits him at the right time. Oh, that's going to hit, I believe. Ooh, nice iframe use there. Pretty staunch, a bit too long. Mel actually used it early to be able to get out of that. Both players are just man, shadow they're not, sneak they're frames. Not doing much to each other, but like they're getting really close to doing something. Yeah, it's like intense trade-offs, but it's just nice crit grab right there. Oh, the iframes, man. Uh, Counterattacks, the ADCs. He might get his uh, burst again, too. Uh-oh. Mello getting... Both players, actually, getting pretty close to their burst. Now, Libre will get it for sure. It's easy yeah, for him definitely. to do that. Headbutt there. 
Um, Cresselia will get a little bit more for Spud. Enough at this point. Yeah, here's the uh, burst from break. Only 18 seconds left, and players are still above uh -oh. 150 health. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so it's gonna be really hard for. Oh, oh that, I think that's gonna hit. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna hit, and that is going. That's to gonna do it. it. Yeah, that was very close. That curse that was a very hard read, but I think those are light attacks. He would have armored through that. Very good winner's final, so very close with both players. All right, folks. Uh, we got to keep it moving here, so I need uh, Paper the Dragon.